Hello dear students, myself Alok from Edu Tatlot team. The aim of our team is to make you guys a pro learner. Be with us for, for short lecture and depth knowledge video. Today our topic is knowing our numbers from NCRT math book of standard 6. In this chapter we are going to learn about some topics. First one, place value and face value of a number. Second one, system of numeration, which is of two types, Indian system of numeration and international system of numerations. Third one, comparison of numbers. Fourth one, formation of numbers. Fifth one, estimating of nearest number by using rounding of method. Sixth one, Roman numerals. So, let us start our discussion. Before going to the, our topic, first, Tell me, what do you mean by a number? A number is a mathematical object which is used to count. Or a number consists of some digit. So let us take an example. 34 is a number which consists of two digit, that is 3 and 4, while 693 is a number which consists of three digits that is six, nine and three. So what do you mean by place value of a number? The place value of a number is the value of each digit in a number. To understand this we have to consider an example. Let us take a number that is 3927 in the number 7 is present at unit place 2 is present at tens place 9 is present at hundreds place 3 is present at thousands place suppose we have to find the place value of 2 we have to multiply the digit itself with its place value that is the digit 2 into its place value 10 is equal to 20. The place value of 9 is equal to the digit itself 9 into its place value that is 100 is equal to 900. Similarly, the place value of 3 is equal to the digit itself into its place value that is 1000 is equal to 3000. So after that, what do you mean by Face value of a number. The face value of a digit is the digit itself. Let us take an example. In the number 3927, the face value of 2 is 2. The face value of 9 is 9. The face value of 3 is 3. And the face, face value of 7 is 7. Then, we have to move expanded form of a number. Let us consider an example. Consider a number 9127. In this number 7 is present at unit place, 2 is present at tens place, 1 is present at hundreds place, while 9 is present at thousands place. So we have to write 9 into its place value that is 1000 plus 1 into its place value that is 100 plus 2 into its place value that is 10 plus 7 into its place value then come to method of numeration. It is a process of reading and writing of numbers. It is of two types. First one is Indian system of numeration and second one is international system of numeration. First we will see Indian system of numeration. These system of numerations are generally used in India. In Indian system of numerations, there are four periods. And what are the four periods? That is crore, lakh, thousands and units. I will repeat again. That is first period is crore, second period is lakhs, third period is thousands and fourth period is units. Again, these periods are subdivided or divided into some places. That is, units period is divided into three places. That is, hundreds place, 
tens place, ones place. The thousand period is divided into two places that is ten thousand and thousand. The lakhs period is divided into two classes that is lakhs class, ten lakhs. The crore period is divided into two classes that is crore and ten crore. I will repeat again. The units period is divided into three classes that is ones place, tens place, hundreds place. The thousands period is divided into two classes that is thousands, ten thousands. The lakhs period is divided into two p classes that is lakhs, ten lakhs. The crores period is divided into two classes that is crore class, ten crore. Then we will see how can we write the number. Let us consider a number. I will take in a number. This one. Then how can we keep this number in the table? Then and how can we keep the commas? And how can we read the numbers according to Indian system of numerations? You have to start from the right end of the number. Now you can separate this by putting commas. That is, you have to start from right end and putting commas for each period. That means, after three numbers from the right end, you have to put one comma here, and then another period from that. That is thousand period. That means two period classes after two numbers. The you have to put a comma. Then another period you have to put comma here. Then this way you can separate the comma. Then after separating commas, we have to read this number as eighty five crore ninety two lakhs thirty seven thousand four hundred sixty five. I will read it as eighty five crore. Ninety two lakhs thirty seven thousand and four hundred sixty five. We will write here eighty five crore ninety two lakhs thirty seven thousand four hundred sixty five. This is how you can read the number by the help of Indian system of numerations. I hope you all understood the Indian system of numerations. Then. We will go to international system of numeration. This system of numerations are generally used internationally. That means all over the world. Similarly, international system of numerations are also divided into some periods, and again some periods are subdivided into some places. In international system of numerations, there are four periods. That is, billions, millions, thousands, and units. I will read again: billions, millions, thousands, and units. And again, these periods are subdivided into some places. That means, units of the period is divided into three places. That is, ones place, tens place, hundreds place. And thousands period is divided into thousands place, ten thousand and hundred thousand. Millions period is divided into three places. That is million, ten million, hundred million. And billion periods is divided into three places. That is billion, ten billion, and hundred billion. Then let us take an example. I take this one as the example. Or in the similar process, we have to put the number in the table from the right hand right hand side. So we have to put four here and two is here, one in hundreds place, nine in thousands place, eight in ten thousands place, six in hundred thousands place, seven in millions place, and five in Ten millions place. In this way, we have put the number in the table. Then after, we have to use comma to separate periods. Same process is repeat 
we have to put comma from the right end so after the first period <coughs> that means we have to put first comma after three digit that means we have to put a comma here and again after the period that means three places that means we have to put second comma here then how can we read this number to read this number read it as 57 million six hundred eighty nine thousand one hundred twenty four again I will read it as 57 million six hundred eighty nine thousand one hundred twenty four so in this way by the use of international system of numerations we can read the number so i hope you will you all understand the two types of numeration that is indian system of numeration and international system of numeration now come to our next topic that is comparison of numbers how can we compare between two numbers let us take two numbers that is this one and this one how can we read this number first? We have to put a comma here and put a comma here. In this number, we have to put a comma here. This number read as 8,52,937. Read it as 8,52,937. And this number read it as 76,519 Again 76,519 So how can we separate this number? We have to to find the bigger number we have to count the digit first It is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 It is a 6 digit number while 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one is a 5 digit number. We all know 6 digit number, 6 is greater than 5. So here, we, the, a 6 digit number that is this one is greater than 5 digit number, this one. So we have to write 8,52,937 is greater than 76,000. 519 so let us take another example that is this one how can we read this number <coughs> this number read it as 53724 this number read as 53215 so how can we compare first count the digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a 5 digit number. This number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one also a 5 digit number. So, how can we compare if the digit are same? Then, if the no, between two numbers the digits are same, then we have to consider the digit present in the left hand side of that number here the in the left hand side the digit present is 5 and also here also 5 so if the digits are in the left side are same then we have to consider the adjacent number of left side digit so we have to consider again this not this digit that means 3 here the second digit is 3 and here also second digit is 3 again if the digit are same then we have to consider the second adjacent digit that is 7 and here that is 2 so here we conclude that 7 is greater than 2 so this number is greater than this number so we can write 53724 is greater than 53,000
215. In this way, we can compare between two numbers to find the greater number and smaller number. I hope you all understood the topic covered by me. If you have any doubt regarding this, then you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you. If you have not gone through our previous lessons, then click here. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for video tutorials on math and science from class 6 to 10 and press the bell icon for upcoming video notification. Thank you.